Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Carlos D. I'm Carlos M. And today we're going to talk about leadership. We're talking about how you can grow financially and how you can have everything you want if you develop this key skill, which is leadership. So, Carlos, talk to us about a little bit about why leadership is such a, an important uh, ability. Well, uh, leadership is really important because uh, it's going to determine the level of success that you're going to achieve. If you guys look at how society is today, most leaders are at the top of the pay scale. Um, the people earning the most money are usually leaders. Uh, the top 1% most likely will be leaders. So leadership will help you in your personal life, in your um, private life, private life, in your personal life, your business life, and anything that you want to do, uh, leadership is always a uh, necessity. That's right. When you think about it, a lot of us, we're already leaders. Are you a leader in your house? Are you a leader of your children? We need to be leaders in order to, we can lead our children to the right uh, lifestyle. So talk to me about why is this such a, a, a fear uh, uh, position to be in a leadership or a management position? Yeah, so to give you guys some perspective, whenever we put a leadership position out there, like we're looking for a manager, we get about three, two applicants. If we put a regular team member position, we get 40, 50 applicants. And it's not because those um, team member applicants don't want to be leaders. It's because they fear that they are a, that they don't have the skills that are required to be a leader, or they think that it's this, this a grandiose something out of this mind that they they can't they, they can't do. I too agree hard. with you. I agree with you there. It might be too hard. They might think, yeah. So tell us how someone someone watching this video how they can develop these skills little by little so they could lose that fear of, of leadership. All right, so the, the first thing that you need to lo know about leadership is the word, right? Leader, so you lead others. So it's like telling people what to do, guiding others to do things in a certain way. Uh, once you understand that principle, uh, you realize that you guys, most people are leaders. Uh, and it's just being leaders with uh, people that are maybe older than you, younger than you, have a different uh, personality than you. That's huge. If you're an extra, if you're an introvert and somebody has an extrovert, you need to lead them. But even though they're gonna try to outspeak you or uh, say something out of the norm, but being a leader, you know, it's it's just that leading others. Okay. And talk, talk to us about leading others. What are some some keys that we should take away about leading others? Uh, how can we start learning them? All right, so uh, when you lead others, you have to first understand who you're dealing with, right? Um, the, the one common thing about people, everybody, is that they're gonna be unpredictable. So I know that you are going to be unpredictable. So by having that in mind, nothing that you do is going to shock me or put me down uh, from a leadership perspective because it's really, sometimes it's hard when you're a leader and you try to lead others and they come up, they come come to you in a certain attitude or something that, that you're like, you know, it throws you off. So you, sometimes you need to understand that you, everybody is unpredictable. So uh, just wait for the punchline <laughs> in a sense. The other thing is, um, as a leader, you need to understand that your main goal is to get the results through them, through the person that you're leading. So you need to understand uh, how to approach them. You need to learn how to reprimand and praise. Those are the number one, two things that you need in order to be an effective leader. Because if somebody does something good, you want to praise them. That means that you want, to do, you want them to do more of that. If they do something bad, you want to reprimand them. You want to tell them this is not the right way. So that means that you don't want them to behave like that in the future. And once you are do enough of that, they're going to now start falling in line with what you want them to accomplish. So they're gonna know your, your expectations basically. Pretty much. So can you give us some examples of some praises and reprimands that 
uh, when we start our leadership journey that we should be applying and how to do that in a way that uh, we don't, we're not criticized as leaders, that we're seen as a good leader instead of a bad leader. All right, so to praise somebody, I always do like some type of sandwich, right? I start with something positive. I thank them for being part of our team. I tell them that we have uh, areas of opportunity, things that we could improve. I always, always make sure that you're not attacking the person itself themselves, but, but you're letting them know that you're not happy with the behavior that they're portraying. Because as a person, somebody could be great, but they might make a mistake in the way they act. So, and then end, ended up with a very positive note telling them, I know that, that you're going to be able to um, apply this. And I know that I, I look forward to seeing you grow as a person. And thank you so much for everything that you do for us, etc. So, you know, you, you, you just don't want to go and ramble on um, all negative things. And then at the end of the meeting, it's like, what happened? So the best reprimand that you can give somebody is when that person leaves, they felt that you care for them mm -hmm. and that they're going to learn something new. The other thing, yeah. whenever you're reprimanding somebody, oh, only pick one thing to reprimand on. If somebody, for example, if one of my employees is uh, has a poor performance and is always late to work, I'm not gonna pick both and give them two reprimands in one sitting. I always pick one because then when you do more than one, the person you you you're kind of attacking the person in a way. Okay. And you, again, you don't want to make them feel bad. You just want to let them know that you're that they could improve that certain area. Okay, great, awesome. So, tell us a little bit about praise. How can we praise someone effectively? Because uh, praise is, I figure, is just as important as a reprimand, right? Uh, yes, I believe that praises are more important than reprimand. I believe that. If you praise somebody into doing something positive, it works better than having to reprimand them for doing something negative. And when you do your praises, you have to say it out loud. You want to celebrate it, right? You want to say, oh, um, Juan did a great job uh, this weekend taking care of this customer. And you want everybody to know because everybody's going to see that you like that behavior. So everybody wants to get praise too. We all want praises. We love praises. That's like, if, you know, when somebody tells you, hey, I, I like your outfit, you like, oh, wow, you know, like my outfit. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. When you're praising somebody, say it out loud, celebrate it, use praises more than reprimand. For every reprimand that you do, you should have at least praised that person twice. Yeah. And there's something that you told me once about praises is that a deep level of praising goes in when you actually praise the person themselves yes uh, more than their behavior you told me that um you tell somebody for example i really like the way that you uh, portray yourself and communicate with the customers this really shows that you're somebody that you're really dedicated to this job uh, i remember we talked about this a few weeks ago where you you told me that then somebody feels that you're praising themselves, their person, not just a behavior or not just the, the clothes, you know, the wearing, and it's a deeper kind of praise. You could do both. Yeah. Right? Uh, the, the next thing is results. How do we get the most results uh, when, we're, when we're in leadership? Because leadership is about getting the right results. How do we get them uh, to just to wrap everything up? I mean, that's the reason why we are leaders. And that's the reason why you have, um, you know, presidents and you have uh, CEOs of companies because um, their job is to get the company the results that they need in a, in a smaller setting. If you're coaching somebody one-on-one, -on -one, you're the leader. Your job is to change a certain behavior or to improve on a certain behavior. So uh, overall, you have to be, there to support that person I, I think the goal of leadership is to be there to support uh you're a steady figure and people are going to look to you as a leader whenever the house is on fire um and you have to show up you can't if i always say this so if the house is on fire you're the leader and you're running like going crazy like a chicken without head what do you think the rest of the team that's supposed to look up to you is going to do it's going to be chaos. So as a leader, you have to 
remain cool. And I always say grace under fire. Uh, whenever the, your, your butt is on fire, you have to act like there's nothing going on and be able to be there as that support that your team is looking for. That's right. Thank you very much, Carlos. So just to review some of the pointers today, leadership is one of the most important res resources, abilities that you can develop to become successfully financially uh, in any other, any other ways, not just in your personal life, but also professionally. We learn about praises, reprimands. We learn that unpredictability is the only thing that is predictable. God. And we learn that uh, we are here to support our team and help them become better. That's right. Well, leadership, after all, is not something that we should be that we should be fearful of, right? No, it's something that is is, the, is a blessing. It's a blessing for those who receive you as a leader, and those who um, and and those who you get leaders, you know, who teach you about leadership. So great, awesome. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. We'll see you next week. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.